Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. This is Kelsey from Empress of Energy. I'm ready to jump into a current energy check for you bulls. You gorgeous babies, ye. I know I've had a few days um, off, but I've just been absolutely drained. Drained. But I didn't actually realise how long it's been, to be fair. So I thought I'd just jump on quickly. Um, just a quick, so... Let's see what's going on. If you can hear my little legs in the background. He's just waiting for his supper uh, before bedtime. So, place a sign of Taurus in your birth chart anywhere you like. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. You could find messages in here for you. Cross watch is always welcome. We always encourage that. Do you need to do with the messages, however, but do not force them to fit if they are not for you. Okay? I've seen this now twice. Some of you are at a crossroads with a decision or a choice in some kind of way. Um, or someone's going through a separation. Show me messages for Taurus, please. Some me rising in Venus. Oh, maybe a divine masculine. You. Someone you're dealing with. Show me what Taurus needs to say. Let's see what's going on. It's only going to be a quick reading, so. Um, but I will be back with juicy ones tomorrow. <laughs> Some of you are really, really investing into educating yourself about something. Some of you, it's something that you already know and you just, you know, you just further educating yourself. Some of you are starting something brand new and, you know, getting right, really stuck in with something. It doesn't have to be literally in school, if you like. It could just be learning about yourself. Um, it's something about your spirituality for some. But I see a lot of your time and focus and attention being in that area so show messages for Taurus please some reminds me of Venus okay so we've got the heart card 24 love romance giving infatuation affection core right then we've got clouds confusion negativity unclarity doubt worry uncertainty and then the moon the tower and the woman Praise, feeling, emotion, imagination, intuition, inspiration, isolation, authority, official buildings, loneliness, loneliness, ego, government. And then the woman, which is, for me, the empress equivalent, which is pretty much you, but um, anyone could be in the divine feminine energy. Flip it as you need to, guys, okay? Right, there's something in the way of your happiness, and some of you, this is just about romance. And something to do with a the commitment. There's literally been some kind of block with that mountain there. Some of you are going to find something out in regards to that with the sun being there. It's exposure, truth. Some of you that, are, that have started seeing someone, um, however long that's been, there's a, there's, a, there's a question of loyalty in some kind of way. And those of you that are single, I think the next person coming towards you is going to put you in a little bit of confusion or just a little bit of doubt as far as whether you can probably trust said person. So, show what Taurus needs to see, please. Some of you are breaking generational curses. Love that fire. Message of concern, and journey, a message. Some of you might get travel delays or something, whether that's physical or energetic. Some of you may have been going through that recently. You know, going through, well, that makes sense given that we've seen the mountain. So there's been something causing you delays to some kind of journey, closing out, some chapter closing out, ending, tens of completions. The lighting's terrible in it, sorry guys, but... Some of you, this is about a home or a house, a living situation. And some of you, this is about who you're seeing or dating. Some of you could be moving in with your significant other or something to that effect. Hmm. Show me messages for Taurus, please. Some of you, my Okay. 
Okay, we've got high honours, privileged leader, marriage, concern. Okay. Someone someone pretended to be single somewhere. Some of you are feeling, in, you know, some of you are in a situation right now and your intuition's screaming at you that someone could be already committed. Some of you, um, this is someone coming around to you for the second or maybe more time and you're going to doubt whether they're still attached. Sudden wealth and expectation. So a lot of you are expecting this. But divine timing is kind of imperative here. You're on the right path. There's going to be someone coming towards you who's not already here and you're going to doubt their loyalty, whether they're still already committed or even if this is someone that should have been committed to you in some kind of way. It's like you're going to struggle to believe they're being genuine or that they're even available for a lot of you. Let's see. Someone could be walking away from a situation that's either pretty on the inside and ugly on the out, or vice versa. Something that's not as what it seems, do you know what I mean? Show me messages for Thomas, please. Yeah, some of you are feeling a bit knackered as well. That's literally been me the past couple of days, to be honest, so. We have got a full moon coming on Thursday. We do. You failed, so what? You've got people laughing at you as well online. The shit, that's what I got in the pre-shuffle. Some of you are having your photos or something that you're doing maybe online. You're having it screenshot and sent about, like, there's a bit of bullying going on, if you like. Could be, like, online trolling or something. You failed, so what? People could be just laughing at you, like you, you know, wanting you to fail, laughing at your vulnerability or laughing at your losses or something. You're getting downloads in your, in your dreams, guys. You're getting messages from the divine, your ancestors in your dreams, okay? Some of you might just be a little bit too exhausted to actually see them or hear them, though. You need to go get some fresh air, Taurus. Show me messages for Taurus, please. This is bullshit. You're being told to stay out of something that is bullshit. Abuse of power. Abuse of power. Well, we've got turn your tongue seven times in your mouth before speaking. Someone's doing some smack talking <laughs> someone's talking some garbage show me a bit more like some of you this could be like a boss or someone that feels like they've got a little bit of entitlement or something of that effect someone quite controlling dominating a bully stand up for yourself someone needs to stand up for themselves there is a bully here this is either you taurus or it's someone that you're dealing that you're connected to energetically Someone needs to stand up for themselves. I'm not always an angel. Hmm. Someone's audible with the words, with the mouth. Someone's probably blaming you for something. Oh. Let's go out of our comfort zone because someone's trying to step out of the shell, the comfort zone, out of the box. <laughs> okay, Melon. I've got superpowers. Some of you are starting to seriously realise your own magic, and that's what you're educating yourself on. Keep doing that. Whatever way you do, however you're doing that. As different as that might make you feel, if you like. Carry on. Evidence. Detection, investigation, proof. Well, you've got bullets or something. Embarrassment, gossip, unwillingness. Loneliness. A 
I feel like someone's realising that there's a group of people that have been talking quite a lot of nonsense about you. There's some kind, some kind of realisation about it. There's no, there's no truth behind it. There's no evidence behind whatever someone has been saying. Gift, yeah. You're just a little, you're just a little treat, aren't you, <laughs> Taurus? And it's kind of being made obvious because whatever someone said, saying the opposite, there's absolutely nothing to back it up. Whatever that means, okay. So, robbery, exploitation, incaution, unfairness. Look, someone is trying to make you not love yourself. Someone's trying to make other people like not like you. I'm not even joking. Self concern, self healing, independence, imagination, a variety, fancy set of mind. Someone can't stand how creative you are. Those of you that have just started up some kind of like little creative endeavour, especially those of you that it's something online, there's someone literally stealing your shit or trying to. Some of you, you've got like a little copycat. Um, show me toys messages. General reading, guys, not personal. If you want a personal reading, email me. Loneliness, dullness, disappointment, isolation. This is a lot. This is a you lot at the moment. I feel like it's because you just can't be asked with people. To be honest, this is bullshit. Aid, mercy, charity, kindness. So there's going to be someone coming. Someone's going to be reaching out, and it's in a good way. It's not like in a charity, like you're a charity case. It's not that. It's like. You know, like I've said, there's no evidence to suggest that whatever someone has been saying or someone's has been saying is true. <laughs> and it's going to be like someone pointing it out in a way. Like, or coming to speak to you, say, do you know what I mean? Gain, cultivation, profit and conclusion. Hmm. This is some of you, you, you like your little bright, bright ideas, do you know what I mean? Some of you, it's little side hustles, or some of you, it's just going into a new job, a new work setting, or something. And there's like a very competitive co worker that feels like they've got a lot more entitlement than you because they've been there longer to something of that effect. Do you know what I mean? And they're just nothing but intimidated by you because you've got a lot of new ideas, so on and so forth. And we've got sweet dream, satisfaction, comfortable, lazy day. <laughs> yeah. I've had a couple of these. Maybe you guys need to. Some of you are going to get some new ideas whilst in that kind of energy, okay? Something definitely being delivered to you in your dream state from the 5D. Withdrawal, quit, awakening, rejection. Promise. Mm. There's someone that feels... Like, I don't know, it's like they take credit in something that you've done or something that you've done about, like, even whether it's to do with something work-wise or just something within yourself. It's like someone feels like they've got, like, entitlement, literally. Someone's really, really attention-seeking because they've got no... They can't visualise for themselves, so they're kind of using you as a scapegoat or something like that. I don't know. Let's jump into tarot quickly. The moon. Some of you are going to get an apology as well. There's, still, there's someone coming in with an apology. Oh, some of you, it's someone that's been holding back feelings. The King of Cups and the Moon. Strong cancer energy. I've got seen an apology for heartbreak, pain, a third party situation. Something. Six of Swords. Some of you could have met someone on a trip or a holiday or something like that. Eight of Pentacles. So you're working on yourself, the magician. Some of you, you're working on your manifestation um, skills, powers, your, you know, not necessarily just your high priestess skills, but it's everything above and beyond that as well. It's like, as above, so below. It's your magic. You're learning where that magic lies, where your power lies, where your strengths are, you know. The hermit, it's... You're spending a lot of time by yourself doing this. But it's just realisation, you know, it's like you stand out. 
and you're kind of like learning now. You're in like you're investing in yourself, educating yourself on yourself, basically, if that even makes any sense. We're dealing with a, a Gemini, a Virgo, a Scorpio with a Tower, the Five of Cups. So there's someone here that you're not speaking to. There's a Tower moment. Show me the rest of your please. Ooh, the Devil, lovely. Capricorn energy. Show me more. The Chariot, Cancer energy. One more, please. You have, you've got um, toxic energy attached to your powerful movements forward. It's like delays. Do you know what I mean? Someone or something really trying to hold you back. It's not going to work. Divine timing's at play, so... Because you can't control that party that's throwing them obstacles in your way. Do you know what I mean? You can't control that. It's all going to work out in your favour. But you can't control the timing. Or what this person does. Or whatever it is that's going on. Do you know what I mean? Whatever the delays are, you cannot they're completely out of your control, put it that way. The Ten of Cups, wow, that's your destination. That's your destination, guys. So you are going to have this. Triumph is the chariot as well. It's not just movement, it's winning. Power. You're not, you know, it's this devil. We'll clarify, we'll find out more, but it's like you've not got no, I'm stronger. Oh, what's that song I've just got in my head? Stronger, is it by Britney Spears? Yeah. Now there's nothing in my way. My loneliness ain't killing me no more. I'm stronger. Mm-hmm. The star, lovely. Lovely energy. Could be an Aquarius, but you are getting your Ten of Cups. You've just not been in control of the delays and the obstacles that have absolutely been in your way. Purposely, bullying, you know, people just being horrible. But... Divine's watching, and this Ten of Cups is inevitable. Your soulmate is here, and Two of Cups. Let's clarify. Right, some of you, that this person's already in your energy, you've got people stressing you out, and they're just being bullies. They enjoy you being like this. Others of you, this person's not coming yet. And they're the ones in the Nine of Swords energy. Yeah, the Divine's all over this. Completely out of your control. I'm not going to lie. You know, major arcana energy, it's unavoidable, it's inevitable. And the wheel, it's destined success. So you are destined to be successful. The two of wands, the page of wands, the queen of cups. Someone's still strategizing, putting plans in place. Could be a younger fire sign. You know you're being watched as well. You know you're being watched. Either teach or educating yourself, one of the two. A lot of jealousy. Some of you have got a new car and you've got a good few people that are not happy for you. Show me this devil. Or it's your travel plans, it's where you've just been on a holiday or something like that. Seven of Pentacles, Justice, and the Hermit. So whatever your work you've been doing, something's about to be restored here. Something's about to be balanced in your favour. The devil, you know. So it's like you're getting your good karma. The devil's getting whatever the devil or whatever the divine sees fit. Put it that way. It's balance. Whatever you've been doing in that Seven of Pentacles energy, like I said at the beginning, you're just very focused. You're very focused. And it's about to pay off for you. Could be dealing with a Libra or a Virgo. Yeah, someone is sad. Someone is missing you. I'm just going to cover up a bit. <laughs> but someone's very sad. Well, the Ten of Cups and the Magician. You're manifesting the Ten of Cups. Some of you are learning on how to be more precise and more so on and so forth. Where you're, again, you know, where your strengths are, if you like. But what you're manifesting is the Ten of Cups. And that is exactly what you're getting. You've just not been in control of the timing or the obstacles, unfortunately, or the bullies. 
Show me this chariot, please. Oh, yummy. So those of you that are still single at this moment in time, you're not going to be for longer. The Ace of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles. Give me one more. The Lovers. So, it's decision time. A lot of you, it's do I even want to get involved again because you've been maybe single for quite some time. Um, others of you, there's some kind of choice. Someone could have made a choice between two, no doubt. Probably one with the Gemini. Yeah, it's just... Someone's been planning and strategizing a way to have this Ace of Cups, whether that's you or someone else, Taurus, take that as it resonates, but there's been a lot of strategizing, planning, conscious choices, do you know what I mean? Show me this Ten of Cups, please. Show me this ten of cups. That's all right. There's someone here that does not want you to be single. Right, the ten of swords, the sun, and the seven of cups. Right, so a lot of you maybe have met someone that's just come out of it, come out of something, or you guys are coming out of something, and you're going to walk straight into your happy ever after, to be dead honest. And it's going to confuse you because it's like, well, can I do that because I've just come out of this? Or even if you're the one that's been single for a while, and the person that you're meeting has just come out of something quite dark there with that ten of swords and it's like just questioning shit because of whatever that ten of swords is your recent ending their recent ending even you were two having a history and it not going well first time round you're just questioning a lot and it's showing up as the sun and the ten of cups the sun is the happiest card in tarot truth clarity you're questioning someone's loyalty whether they're being honest whether they want the ten of cups whether you can have the ten of cups and it's based on whatever that Ten of Swords represents. Your history with them. Your previous ending. Their previous ending. Whatever it is. I just feel like is, uh, there's a lot of overthinking. Judgment. A lot of you, this is some form of reconciliation. And it's a risk. To raise something from the dead. A lot of you, it's because of other people. Them bullies that we've seen. In whatever way. It could be family. But... I feel like you are, whoever's in the position to kind of choose and whether, and whether to proceed, whether that's you or Crosswatcher, the person is, the person that you've got to decide about is giving you kind of breathing space to be able to do that because they, they're, kind of, they're being really, I feel like they're being genuine and they're giving you the space to be able to kind of like see that or feel that if you like. Let's just get you some knowledge here and then we're done. The answers you need are coming, yeah. Some of you are dealing with a Gemini, but some of you, this person's not coming yet, but they are going to. Or a Virgo. Yeah, someone's just had to have it about them enough to, what, to what, whatever this whatever this Ten of Swords is in place. Because it's like one up, one down, to be honest. Well, one going down and another going up. More to the point. Whether it's yourselves... Or just something else. Either way, I hope that's made sense. Confidence is your key to success. Believe in the impossible. So again, law of attraction. You're very powerful manifest manifestors. So if you want something, you're being told you can have it. You just have to believe that. Strong Leo Cancer. Some of you are dealing with a cancer Leo cusp, or you've got that in your chart. Show me your four toes, please. Do be sure to let me know if these messages resonated with you. Subscribe if you have not yet. Um, balance spirituality and practicality. Full moon in Pisces. So you need to chill. And I feel like this is absolutely about you and another. Two fish there. Like duality. Balance. Someone could be quite spiritual like you. Or becoming, a, becoming that way. Your hard work is paying off. New moon, new moon in Capricorn. One more. Thank you. And the end of a tough cycle approaches. Full moon in Capricorn. Strong Capricorn energy there. Something's about to come to an come to an end. Very well for you. 
so whatever the need to overthink it is don't just maybe because it's out of the blue or too good to be true or something of the sort or it's just because of the bullies making you feel like you shouldn't have it or you don't deserve it or something of the sort but this is what we got luck is on your side yep so i love you guys i will speak to you all tomorrow Mwah. take care